Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29, back again for another indie comic review, and in this indie comic review I'll be covering Ancient Enemies, First Responder, Issue 1 by Dan Didio, and TMNT vs Street Fighter, Issue 3. I'll now get things organised, for the first one that I'll be starting to cover in the review, and we'll get started. So, as we begin the move into the first comic that will be covered in this review, it is Ancient Enemies, First Responder. And does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story? Sure enough it does, to which I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the area of the art, which we'll have a look around the beginning, middle and of course the end as to what also is ha happening story-wise with the character and characters. So, as the story begins, we end up meeting with Sonny Palmer, who is the first responder, and we get a bit of a flashback of sorts, as well as to how this character became the first responder. As the story continues, we end up meeting some other characters along the way, and I must admit, the way these characters were sort of brought across, um, didn't know their name, but we only got to see their name at the end of the book, which I think was really quite stupid. Um, even if it was Dan Didio's idea or not, it, it would have been better to see these characters' names um, in reference to these characters when being addressed in the book. We end up moving a little bit further as things draw close to the end of the story. We end up seeing catch up with a bit of an old buddy, an old friend, who we learn his name is Frankie. And last but not least, towards the end. Now what I will do is show you the additional characters that we met in the story, uh, which, on the, which are on these last couple of pages. First we have the first responder, uh, to which we get to see throughout this whole story we have the character called the system and last but not least the character La Strega so for the internal art I gave it a 7 out of 10 now it's time to move in relation to the story so first things first did this story give us any indication of when this was taking place time wise not really at all uh, the next is the location where it was taking place Again, no idea where the hell it was taking place. Uh, last but not least, that a cast of characters, to which we have Sonny Palmer, who is the first responder, um, the system, Frankie, and last but not least, La Strega. For the overall story rating in this, I gave it a 6.5 out of 10. I really felt that this one shot connected to the ancient enemy series really dropped the ball a bit in regards to what's happening with the story i understand that in the next issue we are going to get a big fight between the Jin and also the first responder so now it's time to move into the tmnt versus street fighter so, as we move into Team NT vs. Street Fighter, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story? Sure enough, it does, but an overall rating for the cover that I give is a 6.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the internal art, and as well as things that are happening story-wise around the beginning, middle, and of course the end. So, as the story begins, we get to see what's happening whilst... Raphael is with Chung Li, who is also caught with, or caught up with Baxter Stockman and Bison, and some of the things that are happening there. As we jump towards the middle of the story, we end up catching up with Ryu, 
and the rest of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, including the ugly Jenica, who needs to die off. And last but not least, towards the end, which we see the return of the Shredder. For the internal art, I gave it a 6 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the story. Uh, did we get anything in relation to the story addressing time-wise as to when it's taking place? Um, time, day, um, afternoon, night, any specific time, not at all. Location, no idea where the hell it's taking place, um, though it needs to be addressed in the story and at least shown in the story where it's taking place. Last but not least, the cast of characters consisting of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and, of course, the members who make, make up Street Fighter, uh, consisting of Chung Lee, Ken Ryu. We also had Shredder, Bison, Baxter Stockman, and last but not least, Guile. For the overall rating in this, I give it a 6 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.